When you first start streaming, it's hard to get past that zero viewer stage, and when you finally do, those couple viewers mean the world to you. Uh, it's people who have given up their own valuable time to tune into your show and support your art. A lot of times we bend over backwards to try to please those viewers as we are scared to death of going back to zero. However, from personal experience, if you aren't careful, you can quickly allow just one or two of those supporters to ruin the entire community that you've been working so hard to build and eventually turn away other members within your community. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, friends. If you're new around here and you enjoy content related to streaming, make sure you hit the like button as well as the red subscribe button below. And don't forget to ring the bell next to it to be notified when I post new videos. Uh, if you have any questions about today's video or want to discuss things further, uh, I do stream over on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evening. Uh, the link is here on the screen and you can also find it down in the description below. I remember the first person that joined my community that was a little off. They rubbed me slightly the wrong way at times. However, as I mentioned in the intro to this video, it's hard in the beginning. You're working so hard, trying to create something from nothing, trying to get the attention of anyone who is willing to give you just a touch of their time. Even worse, you start to become friends with these faithful few in the beginning, which makes it even harder when little things start creeping up. In my case, it started with comments that I would consider to be slightly rude or just a bit distasteful. Uh, then moved on to, as I grew, promotions of his own live stream and trying to get people from my stream to go support him on his. And not just by asking for follows, but begging people to subscribe and even donate to him. Even going as far as trying to make people feel bad if they didn't that he had become friends with on my stream. I noticed all these things, of course, and admittedly it bothered me, uh, but I never said much because he was one of only three to five viewers that I had at the time, and I was afraid of losing any viewers whatsoever. Also, it can seem like those in your community aren't bothered by it uh, or by the person's behavior, even if they might be, which makes it difficult because then you start to feel like maybe it's only bothering you and you don't want to affect the other people that that person has become friends with on your stream. However, that's exactly what happened. Several people in the community reached out to me, letting me know that they had also had personal incidences uh, with the person and mentioned several of the things that I myself had seen and noticed, but had been too afraid to act upon. You see, I'd become so concerned with growing and not losing any viewers that I neglected the health of my community as a whole. And the community noticed. I quickly then acted and spoke to the person and removed them from the community. Uh, yes, it was super uncomfortable. Yes, it was hard. But I knew even before it was brought up that it needed to be done. My community, they just gave me the kick in the ass I needed. However, if I would have chose to not act, it could have easily been the loss of my entire community as they would start to feel uh, isolated. And that's the risk that you take by not acting. Now, in that case, it's an easy decision to make, but sometimes the person is someone who you have no immediate issues with, and in fact, you might even have started gaming with them as they've grown within your community, and maybe you've become close friends with them. You may not even have an issue with the person personally, but there's something happening that you know is impacting the community that you're trying to build in a negative way. I also had this happen with a person that I considered to be a good friend. They started off as a viewer who watched every live stream, joked around, supported me, helped out others in the community. Uh, but then after we became closer, uh, an issue started coming up. And this is where it gets more tricky. It wasn't an issue like the first person. In fact, the person did nothing wrong per se. What was happening was that we would continue getting into these discussions that unfortunately, eventually, would turn into arguments uh, because of differing beliefs, just as we are different people. When I say arguments, I'm not saying either of us was necessarily doing anything wrong, except arguing over our beliefs. However, it was affecting the entire community, as most people were not there to listen to two grown men 
argue on a game and live and stream. Now I'm not about just cutting people off the moment you have an issue. And in fact, I had spoke to the person privately and together we had tried to come up with ways to combat the uh, discussions going that far, but it continued to happen, which left me with a decision to make. End a friendship with a person I enjoyed playing with and even enjoyed having these conversations with or allow to affect my community in a negative way. Because I'm making this video, I think you know which one I chose. This person was a subscriber of the channel, he also gifted subs to the channel, and it was not someone I wanted to lose in the stream. And it beat me up for quite a while before finally doing what I knew I needed to do, because again, I allowed myself to become more concerned with growing and keeping as many people there at the live stream instead of putting that focus on the overall health of my community. So, I ended the friendship. So in case one, it was an easy decision. In case two, it wasn't. But nonetheless, both were affecting the community in a negative way, and it was my responsibility to ensure that it didn't continue to happen despite personal feelings or friendships. You see, I didn't start streaming to make friends. Of course, I wanna make friends while doing this, uh, but I also have a business to run as well as a community to protect, which requires me at times to put aside personal needs or desires. And sometimes you have to make that decision as well. And I think this is why most streamers, uh, especially as they start growing, tend to stream solo and don't really play games with others on stream because it's a difficult thing to do. However, if you choose to do it and you want to stream where you're also playing with friends and different people, it's something you're going to need to master. Now, my point in bringing all of this up uh, is not to put any of these people on blast, as unfortunately there will be people from my streams who also watch these YouTube videos who'll know exactly who I'm talking about. But instead, it's because I know there are plenty of other small streamers uh, who can learn from my mistakes or maybe dealing with the same things uh, that I just expressed to you guys, and they just need to hear someone say that it's okay to let people go as you grow live streaming. I think it's important to remember you are not trying, nor will you be able to appeal to every person in the world or even every person that visits your live stream. You see, even if they aren't a problem, there are just some people that you're not going to click with. And it's okay to remove people from your community. Obviously, you should do this in a polite way and be nice about it and not turn it into a uh, big ordeal. But unfortunately, it's a reality. You see, what you're really looking for is those that are like-minded and that enjoy what you have to offer and that share the same ideals uh, and thoughts that you do. It doesn't make you wrong for wanting that, nor does it make you wrong for choosing that. That's exactly what a community is. And you see, if you don't, you may just sit back and watch your entire community fall apart. Thanks so much for watching. As I said, if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button below. It helps me out tremendously. Also, if you like videos related to this as well as how-to videos related to streaming, uh, make sure you hit the red subscribe button below and ring the bell next to it to be notified when I post, when I post, when I post new videos. Again, if you want to discuss this any further, I do live stream myself over on Twitch TV. The link will be here on the screen or as always down in the description below. And until next time, peace out everybody.